Families in the Terra Vista neighborhood in Georgetown tell us coyotes are terrorizing their community. They say in the past week alone, two children were attacked and some small dogs. As our Jayla Washington reports, many are afraid this is a growing problem, putting everyone in danger and they want some help. <coughs> Lurking into yards. I mean, just look here. Coyotes, known for usually coming out at night, neighbors say are being spotted attacking dogs, adults, and even children in the middle of the day. The coyote came up and bit her on her leg. Amber O'Paranozzi's nine-year-old was outside roller skating when a coyote pounced just on Saturday. Thankfully, she managed to um, stay calm and there was a container in our yard and she had picked up this container and started hitting the coyote and kept screaming until um, my husband came out there. It's a problem many in this area say has gotten out of control over the past few years. A handful of people surveillance video catching the coyotes roaming around. He was just leisurely walking to the car and he shut the door, turned around and there it was. They're getting less fear, fearful of us and it's becoming more, now we have to be even more fearful of going outside. Neighbors who can hear howling, think there's a den of coyotes on private property that their neighborhood surrounds, but they haven't been able to confirm whether their housing association or county would be responsible for helping them out. It could be even worse of, you know, someone taking matters into their own hands and getting a weapon and firing at these animals. Now the type of neighborhood where everyone knows everyone has become a little more closed off <laughs> until those who call it home <laughs> feel safe again. She should be able to go in our front yard and play. Jayla Washington, KXAN News. And that mother you just heard from says she spoke to Williamson County's Animal Control, who says they'd try to set some traps to capture these coyotes, but she says the sheriff's office really didn't give much clarity on if it can do anything to help out. Williamson County tells us the sheriff's office is aware of the attacks, but says Texas Parks and Wildlife is responsible for managing the wildlife. And it's not just Georgetown. There are hundreds of complaints about coyotes every single year in Austin. City officials say they received more than 400 calls to 311 about coyotes last year, and there were nearly 700 calls in 2020. Officials tell us they route the service requests to the city's animal services office. And the high number of 311 calls seems to match up to coyote breeding season. According to Texas Parks and Wildlife, coyotes breed from mid-January to early March. In 2021, January had the most 311 calls, four coyote complaints with 83 calls. February had 39, March had 37, and April, which also had 39, is right after breeding season ends.